Today, following the most successful vaccine program in the world, we're beginning the biggest catch-up program in the history of the NHS, increasing hospital capacity by 110% and enabling 9 million more appointments, scans and operations. And For more than 70 years, we've lived by the principle that everyone pays through, through our taxes for the NHS. So it's there for all of us when we need it. In that spirit, from April, we will have a new UK-wide 1.25% health and social care levy on earned income, with the money required by law to go directly to health and social care across the whole of our United Kingdom, and with dividend rates increasing by the same amount, this will raise almost £36 billion over the next three years. Today, one in seven of us can expect to face care costs exceeding £100,000 in our later years, and millions, millions more, live in fear that they could be among the one in seven. So we're doing something that frankly should have been done a long time ago, and share the risk of these catastrophic care costs so that everyone is relieved of that fear of financial ruin. We're setting a limit to what people will ever have to pay, regardless of assets or income. We'll invest in the quality of care and in carers themselves, with £500 million going to hundreds of thousands of new training places, mental health support for carers and improved recruitment. Making sure that caring is a properly respected profession in its own right. And we'll integrate health and social care in England so that all elderly and disabled people are looked after with the dignity they deserve. No Conservative government wants to raise taxes, but nor could we in good conscience meet the cost of this plan simply by borrowing the money and imposing the burden on future generations. So I'll be absolutely frank with you, this new levy will break our manifesto commitment, but a global pandemic wasn't in our manifesto either. And everyone knows, in their bones, that after everything we've spent to protect people through that crisis, we cannot now shirk the challenge of putting the NHS back on its feet, which requires fixing the problem of social care and investing the money needed. Yeah, 